Quick little jump in before we start the video, please do subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the content and want to keep up to date with the latest and greatest Doctor Who news. Hello YouTube and people of the interwebs, welcome back to another Doctor Who news video. Once again, very, very exciting stuff. They are once again, right now, currently, at this very moment, filming Doctor Who series 14 slash the 60th anniversary celebrations in London, in Camden Market, loads of people are there, and yeah, keep sending in your pictures, send them to me via Instagram, Twitter, whatever, tag me, all the, all that jazz, because yeah, I'm going to keep you guys up to date with the latest and greatest of this Doctor Who filming stuff. So, yesterday we saw David Tennant and Catherine Tate on set, which beyond amazing. We also saw Wilfred Mott, who is, yeah, Donna's grandfather, played by Bernard Cribbins, but today we have a bunch of other, like, Donna family members. Like, it's the whole noble clan, or temple noble clan. So, we've seen Sylvia, who is Donna's mum. We've also seen her husband, who is Sean Temple, I believe his name is, from the end of time, and we have seen the newest cast member of Doctor Who, who was announced yesterday, Yasmin Finney playing Rose. Now, Rose doesn't have a surname yet, and once again, I theorised yesterday that Rose is going to be the daughter of Donna and Sean Temple, slash Temple Noble, and this is making a lot more sense, because we have seen Sean Temple there with his arm around Rose. And, yeah, he's married to Donna. It's gotta be Donna's kid, hasn't it? Like... This is really exciting. We've got the whole noble family. We've got, like, yeah, all of them and the Tenth Doctor. It's genuinely brilliant to see. Now, an interesting thing to think about is the fact that Donna has technically still kind of got a part of the Doctor within her. Because the whole Doctor Donna meta crisis thing, Donna has that weird ability that she showed off in the end of time as well, where she can burst regeneration energy out of her in a crisis. So, it leads me to possibly maybe somewhat think, what if Donna's child, so Donna's daughter, Rose, named after Rose Tyler, what if Rose has some form of Time Lord regenerative ability, or is a Time Lord, or part Time Lord, or something like that? Like, this could be really, really interesting to see, and it could draw some really, really interesting parallels to the beginning and the revival of Doctor Who. So what do I mean by that? I mean, maybe if they go for like an unearthly child type deal with this story. So what if, like, Rose is a whole, ooh, unearthly child and you get parallels to Susan. Also, she's called Rose, which parallels Rose Tyler and the first episode of the modern revival, Rose. And... David Tennant coming back, it, it, it's all, there's really interesting parallels and stuff to be made there. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below about that sort of specific type of theory. Anyway, the next really, really amazing, interesting piece of news coming from the filming so far is all of these posters, okay? Now, if we take a look at the date, the specific dates on those posters, they're from December. Now, D December? It, does that mean a Christmas special? I mean, obviously it's not confirmed, and in a few of the photos yesterday, it looked like there might have been fake snow or fake rain, and all the extras currently seen on set are wearing lots of layers, they're wearing hoods, David Tennant's got the coat on. Does this imply maybe it's a Christmas special? Please be a Christmas special, because if it's a Christmas special, that's going to be this year. L like, this year, <laughs> like 2022, we will see David Tennant and Catherine Tate come back. Alternatively, maybe it's a New Year's special, so it's literally marking off 2023 with the Doctor and Donna's return, which I think would maybe be a better idea. I don't know, though, viewing figures-wise, Christmas might be the logical thing to go for, and I mean, RTD always did Christmas episodes. He was sort of the, the, ooh, the Doctor Who founder of Christmas episodes, so maybe... But yeah, it's looking like this is set in a festive period, which that's really, really, really cool. I'm kind of jumping around in this video because it is just sort of news left, right and center. But this casting call, which I believe I discussed in a video quite a few weeks back, does basically confirm that Rose is the daughter of Donna and Sean Temple, slash Temple Noble, because 
In the casting call, they are looking for a trans actress who has one white parent, so that would be Donna, and one black parent, that would be Sean, which, that that's really cool, like, it, it's Donna's kid, in it? Like, if, if she's with the whole Temple Noble family, and Sean has his arm around her, it's, it's gotta be. Amongst these posters, there's also a poster for the shop Henrik's, which is the shop that Rose worked in in series one, the one which got blown up by the Ninth Doctor. And that's another really interesting thing to note, because maybe it proves we're all, like, going down the wrong end, like the wrong rabbit hole with this. What if it is a parallel universe? And that explains why everything's different, why Tennant's costume's different, why Catherine Tate has a daughter. Maybe it's not Catherine Tate's daughter. Maybe that is Rose Tyler, but from a parallel, parallel world. I mean, our Rose Tyler is already in a parallel world, but what if there's, like, multiverse? I mean, that is a big thing going on in media at the moment. You've got multiverse of madness, you've got everything everywhere all the time, or whatever the bloody hell it was called, you've got um, every, multiverse left, right and centre, no way home, etc. And Tex Hayun even talks about a multiverse in Doctor Who Flux, so that is maybe making me think, like, the fact that we've seen, it could just be a nice little easter egg, because it's, it's definitely the shop Rose worked at in series one, and they are in North London, so what if Rose is actually Rose, but then I don't know, because if you go in parallel world stuff, it almost becomes too nostalgia baity. Like, there's a lot of, oh, you need to watch all of this, and I think that's one thing Doctor Who really needs not to do right now, is make people do homework, because that's where I think things like the Marvel Cinematic Universe are going to collapse under their own weight eventually. You can't keep expecting people to do homework, especially if they have to watch, like, however, how, this would be like series 40, 14 full-length series of, like, 45 minutes to an hour-long episodes. That is a lot to expect people to catch up on before watching Doctor Who. So, Personally, I think they're going to introduce Donna and her family in a similar vein to the way they did with Sarah Jane back in School Reunion, where it's a companion that the classic fans or the new Who early fans will know, but to a new audience, you can just jump in there and that be your first taster of this specific like family dynamic slash companion, which yeah, in my opinion, is really, really cool. But do tell me in the comments what your theories are, and is it just a nice Easter egg that that's Rose's shop, or is there more to it than meets the eye? I don't know. But that, that is basically... Oh, one last thing before I do go. Apparently, filming is going to be there till 3.30 a.m. I mean, a.m.? My voice did not break there. 3.30... <laughs> 3.30 a.m. is when they're going to stop filming. And, yeah, the TARDIS lights have gone on. It's all all kicking off. Really cool. Possible night shoot, which is nice as well. But, yeah, that does bring us to the end of today's video. As ever, if you did enjoy, please do remember to like, comment, subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so that you stay up to date with all the latest and greatest Doctor Who news. Also, check out our Doctor Who fan film, Echo's End. And stay tuned for the sequel, Echo's End 2. As of yet untitled, it'll get a title with Echo in very, very soon. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.